Meanwhile, though July saw a small increase in rental and utilities assistance distribution compared to previous months, the Emergency Rental Assistance Program has only dispersed about 11 percent of the cash allocated by Congress. What has happened? In-depth analysis from Alta Gracia Pierre Outerbridge, founder of Outerbridge Law in New York, where she specializes in landlord and tenant issues. Alta Gracia, why so slow? So there was, at least in New York, there was a hearing in the Senate on the 19th where uh, the folks in New York who are administering this program came out and said what the issues were, right? At least in New York, the issues are really the same everywhere. Uh, the money is not being distributed because folks don't have access to the Internet. Uh, the websites, which are Internet only, right, applications are not really working, right? There are glitches, there are language barriers. So in New York, it's 5% that has been distributed. So New York is even worse than the 10 percent federal number oh my goodness I, and i know i understand this is the first time right that we've distributed this much money so maybe the nonprofits are overwhelmed uh, wow. trying to get the money out but in the meantime i know tenants are maybe catching a break here but the landlords have to be suffering and you see both Correct. Correct. The landlords are suffering. I'm not, I don't know that the tenants are catching a break, right? Because they feel like doom is coming, right? It's it's kind of like watching a horror movie that's gonna that's gonna come down, right? And and the lull in the and the lull in, in not paying it's gonna come to an end. And and tenants are saying that I owe 30, 40, 50 k. Uh, they are certainly not having great relationships with their landlord with that kind of money owed, right? So they're not at ease at home either, right? Um, so. Um, the landlords are saying, I'm broke, um, I should just, you know, sell the house, declare bankruptcy, what's the point, who's looking out for me? So, of course, we send them back to their state legislature, right, whoever represents them. But these are the calls that we get every day. When is the court going to hear my case? My case has been out, you know, um, has had an index number for over a year, right? What's going on? Um, I have people in my in my building that are creating a nuisance and not paying, causing other tenants to not pay that were paying previously. But right, so um, many many issues are happening um, relating to this um, failure to give out this money. We're speaking with Alta Gracia Pierre Outerbridge. She's the founder of Outerbridge Law. She specializes in landlord tenant issues, and we're talking about how only about 11% of federal monies have been distributed for rental assistance from that big package passed by Congress. Uh, so, do you act as a mediator sometimes for the landlords when when the banks come calling and saying, "Where's our money?" Well, we tell them what to do. We don't. We tell them what to do. We tell they can submit a, a hardship declaration, right? They can submit a hardship declaration to the bank. They can always call their bank and state what the issue is. Um, banks know that this is happening, right? Banks also know that they are not going to get a foreclosure fast. They're not, right? So banks are, should be working with people, right? There's always someone at the bank that you can um, that you can access and seek loan, loan modification. There's even a formal form to declare a hardship that will lead to you to you not being pursued. So um, we send them there and we send them again to their legislature to to make their grievances known to the folks that they have elected. Wow. So does the bottleneck end? I mean, this is really a small amount of money that's barely you know made its way out the door. I don't know. I don't know that it. I can, but we have to remain positive, right? We also know that there is a, a clawback. Uh, after September 30th, there is a clawback, meaning the money has to be returned. At least the New York money has to be returned to the federal government if 65% of it is not disbursed. Um, so there is. there are very absolute deadlines, right? So we know that at least in New York, the governor, the new governor has stated that she is going to commit a million dollars to to marketing this program so there's a lack of marketing that she's trying to remedy right there is a lack of um the lack of uh, workers was remedied with the prior governor um uh, getting contract workers and, and a contractor to come in to to administer the program um the glitches in the website some of the glitches have been fixed before then uh tenants could uh, had to finish the application in one sitting now you can actually register an account and pause it and get documents thanks alta gracia alta gracia pierre outerbridge founder of outerbridge law in new york